All right, I moved stuff ahead of time because I was trying to make it brief as always. This is Tau Turn 2 Movement. The Tiger Sharks have hit the table, coming out of orbit, assisting with the run. Purple Squadron is continuing to blow through the city, but if you notice, they are still in arrowhead formation, which means they get to reroll armor penetration shots. We're looking at that nice, juicy side of a Bane Blade. Technically, it's still the front, but who cares for sake of argument. So they're going to try to light up the Lehman Rustas as much as possible. Red took a 45 degree turn while moving 18 inches. So we're going to drop one bomb on the far Lehman Rust. While this one is going to put all his turret shots from the missile launcher and his drones into the rear of one of them. The rest are going to, sh this one is going to shoot up a side. That one's going to shoot up a side because we're in that arc. Over here, the Bane Blades are hunkering down, praying for the best. Now it's time to move the Riptides. Riptide Unit 2 is going to move to the corner and around. We're going to hop up, get a shot. Um, we are going to do Nova Charge, Overcharge for Weapons Fire, of course. It's the only thing that makes sense. And I forgot the cannon on this one, so forgive me for unit 5, but here we go. So we're all lined up with shots at the Bane Blade. Now, as always, you have to declare when you're going to use things. So back to the board. IG are going to use Shield Generator. And they're going to apply it to the Bane Blade. So the Bane Blades are safe. So Bane Blades are safe. That means for the duration of this turn, all the way into turn 3, which will be done tomorrow morning, the Bane Blades are off limits. Sucks to be me. Blind Barrage has not been used yet, so we're not sure how that's going to work. So that means that the Riptides, but I've already declared fire going to the Bane Blades. So the Riptides are spent, otherwise they would be lighting up the Bane Blades. So now, the, Bane Blade, the Riptides are going to sit still and idle. I'm going to use the Blind Barrage tokens to move them out of the way. <sighs> Frustrating sometimes when your opponent is thinking the same way you are or you're playing against yourself. So, Bomb Run. That's the model we're going after. Rules we'll say you have to roll Scatter Die. Okay, and it's going to go D6. So five inches out of the way, right here, it's a bomb, so it won't affect the other flyer. It's gone. So for sake of argument, when this formation passes again and the next one passes over it, it's going to go that way, three inches. So three inches, I want to guesstimate about here, would affect both. This is from the Damocles formation, the Paradox Bomber Squadron. Formation. The lead one's firing the bomb. So, for the one on the far end, it's a D3 hole points. The one in the middle, it's D3 hole points plus one. So, both tanks evaporate, but that'll be turn three after we finish movement because we're going to zoom out. Now, to finish up this one's flying, we're going to take his two missiles. And his four drone shots. The drones are firing rail rifles, drain six, AP1, rapid fire. So first off, let's get a little well, marker light. is on the front of the plane, so no marker light. We're going to put the marker light here. Marker light will hit now using the normal ballistic skill of the ship. It's going to be four shots hitting on four. Three hits, no rerolls. Rear armor on this one is 11, so I need fives and sixes. Nothing. All right. Next ship, Marker Light versus the Bane Blades. Sorry, you can't shoot the Bane Blades this turn, so we're going to put it towards them. So one Marker Light at the Lehman Russes. Now, Drone Side Shot versus the Front Lehman Russ. Three hits. Need a six to do anything. A lot of hot smoking, nothing. Done. Third one, same target. Marker light hit, so we're up to two marker lights versus the squadron, the squad 
Oh, forgot to do the missiles. His missiles, twin line. One miss. One hit so far. Two hits. Um, strength, it's armor 12 on the side, so... No, I'm sorry. 13. One glance, so one whole point removed. We'll just mark a one right there with the red dot. Okay, over here. Missiles. Side armor, that Lehman Russ. Twin length, all four hit. So, we need fives and sixes again. Um, that's one, two sixes. So, this Lehman Russ, for the sake of today's experiment in applying tile pressure and firepower, it's gone. So, there will be no bomb dropped and nothing to worry about next turn. <coughs> However, there's two marker lights versus the squadron. So, instead of firing more marker lights, we're going to fire all six secret missiles versus the last two Lehman Russes, hitting on two. All shots are going to hit on two anyway. So, bang, bang, bang. Five hits. Five hits. One miss. I cannot re-roll it. Um, I need sixes to do any kind of damage. So that's one glint so far. Tank Hunter lets me re-roll. Almost, almost. Cannot re-roll one. Still wouldn't have got anything, but hey, that's a Lehman of Russ. So, they protected themselves for this turn. Riptide's responding to the allegations of unfair play. 2d6 here. We're just going to hop him back in between so he's covered. <coughs> We're going to hop unit one down, give him cover, but I'm still within six inches. I'll get two, sh two full shots, six inches, no line of sight, and unit five is always with that peg and being on a flying base was a pain, so for sake of argument, he's going to float back here. He's still within six inches of two. So six inches. He's within six of one of the members, two members of the unit. They're out of line of sight. The flies are exposed. Lumen Rust has been hit. One's been destroyed. No leadership checks because they're a vehicle squadron. So now it's time for them to deck it up. And that will be done tomorrow morning. Because I promised tomorrow if I was going home. Now to show you the threat range of a tiger shark at 102 inches. It's past <laughs> the Bane Blades. The shield generator gave them a guaranteed I'm not going to get de-weaponed once this turn. Points-wise, this is roughly equivalent. The three Bane Blades have a 200-point gap over the two Tiger Sharks. The Riptides are about um, 193, 760 points. And the flyers are another um, 600 points. So it's about even across the table. But this is a waiting game. I do not have six vendettas, which would make this a very even fight very fast. I don't have six Valkyries, which is still an even fight very fast. But enjoy the video. Hope you guys learned a lot. <coughs> Imperial Guard to defeat Tau Flyers or any Imperial Army. You need a lot of anti-aircraft. Icarus Lias Cannons, Auto Cannon Arrays, um, Aegis Defense Lines with Auto Cannons, and Crack Shots, like you get a Sergeant or you get someone with Blitz Skill 5 up there, will really help out. So, oops. with Shield Generator gone, it's going to make it harder for the IG to stop the Tau. The only thing they have left is Blind Barrage. And with the Flyers moving up on them, they're basically going to lay the line across the front. Hope it stays in place. It doesn't go too far. That way, when the Red Squadron blows by, um, they may or may not have a shot. Or they'll have a shot if they hit 36. So, Purple's going to come up. 
pass over the Lehman Russes who are going to back up into the blind barrage, hopefully saving themselves from a nasty death. Red's going to blow over, dropping the first D-weapon template on top of the Bane Blades. Hitting 36 inches from the current position will put them on rear shots against the three Bane Blades. So, when done correctly, um, Purple Squadron and Marker Lights are going to hit the Bane Blades, giving the, these guys two ups to hit, twin-linked, with the rifles and the missiles, because they're all sitting on turrets. One of the beautiful things about the model is that it can spin around in the bays for it on the Sun Sharks. The missile launcher sitting at the top, which I don't have any up except on this one, it has a 360 degree arc, so it can swivel and shoot. So what you're going to see is six missiles coming into the rear of the Bane Blades, plus six rail rifle shots, twin length of course, going to the rear of the Bane Blades. Rail rifles are AP1, strength 6. Missiles are strength 7, AP4. That's three whole points in my book. The Riptides, of course, are going to try to get over and into the Blind Barrage. But what I've done strategically is set up two turns of the Imperial Guard backing up and avoiding Strength 9 AP2 templates and avoiding D weapons versus their primary targets. Yes, the Tiger Sharks could have wasted the Lehman Russes, but why? I have other people that can do it. So thank you for watching Kikai no Naka no Akuma. This has been a fun day of video. My students weren't here. They're a little rowdy with the last days of school. But again, I would like to recommend my fellow APOC players reading the core rulebook just for the assets. The formations have fallen out of date. And pick up Domnos and Damocles if you play the Imperium side of this fence. Because Damocles has really good formations for all Marines. Domnos has great formations for Marines and Imperial players. So again, Kikai no Naka no Akuma. Thanks for watching. And tomorrow, be ready for the Tiger Sharks to blow it all to hell.